much wheat do you have to farm and does time go backwards? Yeah, it's not that sort of a game. It's not the wheat harvest paradox. Anyways, we're back on Twitch. <laughs> we are live on Twitch. And we are playing Risk with a bunch of chess players. Lee Chess just crashed. So now we're going to play a game of Risk. So we got a lot of new people that don't know how to play Risk, and that's great. Feel free to ask any questions. It's a very beginner-friendly Risk stream. We're playing on the classic map, the map that everybody knows and loves. Uh, even if you're not into Risk, feel free to stay. And don't feel free to leave. You're trapped, okay? You got to stay here. Now, this is first position five in Australia. Oh, no. Wait, you guys don't even know how bad it is. What does pink want? So I want the opposite of whatever pink wants. I hope I can just go for, like, North America here. But I just got to cry. I just got to cry. We're not going for it. We're not going for it, okay? <laughs> We're going up here. And now, so... I'm, so when I put troops in North America, what I'm saying is I'm going to try to conquer this continent. It might not work. How about an alliance from now? Absolutely. We'll use a little bit of diplomacy to our advantage. Uh, that's I don't really have a good way to fortify. So you get troops, you put them on, then you attack, then you fortify. It looks like every start of every risk game where you've ever had Australia. It's, us, it's Indonesia. So this is Indonesia. The, the, the continent that is Australia. So what is going to be interesting is what pink wants. Green is doing nonsense up here in Asia. And that's fine. He's lurking. He's just doing some weird Sammy splitting operation. If you're familiar with diplomacy, I've been told that this is the simpler version, but I'm not entirely sure how that works. Red is going here. So we're expecting him to try to go for South America. Which, okay, this is great. It's supported by the idea that these troops are now coming down, getting closer to South America. So that's good for me. That means I should try to be friends with Red. He's going to be my, my neighbor, so let's try to have a little bit of peace. <laughs> I Yeah, it's always a miracle if you're not split. Here we, we are, we're full split. This is perfect. So I wasn't sure what Pink was going to do, but it looks like they are going to go for Europe, which is great. These four can start going to North America. Maybe we're going to have a good game. However, I have never had a lot of luck with North America. Oh, excuse me? Oh, dang it. I messed up the whole video. Thank you very much. Uh, I have never had like a good North America. If you don't take it right away, there's a lot of bad things that can happen. If you can take North America and nobody bugs you, oh, you got it good. It's one of the best. But in my experience, everybody always bugs you. So in general, you want to be peaceful with everybody for as long as possible. Because as soon as you start fighting with people, you it gets to the point, sometimes you fight to the bitter death. And there's six players. It's not like chess. In chess, you're fighting to the bitter death from move one because it's just two people. How many games of Risk have I played? I guess I can answer that question after the game by looking it up. But I think it's, I mean, it's in the, I mean, it's hundreds at this point. I am currently a grandmaster. I have 27,000 FFA points at the moment. The highest we ever were was like 30k FFA points. And at some point we were in the top 200. So we're hoping to march our way up. I have also won like my last like eight games or something. I'm on an incredible streak. That being said, sometimes when I stream, I get distracted. But I'll try to stay as focused as I can. Orange. Interesting to see. Nobody went for Australia unless Orange is. Orange is the annoying guy that adds and tries to prevent everybody else from taking a continent. Or he's going to Europe. <gasps> Much better. But I think he's just kind of trying to annoy us. I think Orange is not a, a very skilled player at the game. <laughs> and he's adding like a bunch of random places. And he's, he's going to be like just the, the guy that annoys everybody else. But ultimately will not be able to win the game. I continue to... Add to North America. I just go right here. It's quite simple. All of my other troops are kind of trapped, which is sad. Like, losing this five is, like, pretty horrible. And if you're unfamiliar with how the continents work, you can take a look. So if you hold all of the territories in North America for a turn, you get five. Everything here, you get two, three, five, seven, two. So there's two five-pointers. There's two two-pointers. Africa is three. And if you somehow hold Asia against all the odds, you get seven. 
So that's why at the beginning, everybody is going to try to get a continent as quickly as possible. And then you need to manage how quickly you take your continents. It's a little bit of an art. <laughs> if you take them too quick, people might attack you. But if you take them and you're very strong, you're probably not going to get attacked. You're going to be set up for some good things. I think green is going to slink down here at some moment. But not really. No, he's just, I don't know. Green's just, he's doing some weird stuff. It doesn't, it doesn't always make sense what other people are doing. Let's see how red gets here. It would be nice. I don't think he should hit a four, especially before a turn in. But if he's really nice, he hits the four and then lets my three out into North America. But I don't know when he's, he's going to keep taking cards or he's going to keep, yeah, taking cards wherever he can. Let's try to make alliances with just about everybody. I've already made an alliance with purple. Here we go. Okay, cool. Pink is out the way. Now my five can get out. Purple is going to keep going for Africa. I would expect maybe this four to come this way. Hits a three, only or doesn't lose anything. All right, an incredible roll for purple. So purple is on the verge of getting Africa. They don't take it on this turn, although they could have. They're going to wait, and maybe they'll take it on the next turn, or they'll wait till they get a card. Am I too late for chess? Yeah, Lee Chess crashed. <laughs> so we're playing Risk. Lee Chess crashed for at least the second time of the day. We were hunting for the trap. It's day six of trying to hunt for the same Sicilian trap. But if Lee Chess is not functional, I guess we don't, we don't really have a chance. All right. So what I'm actually doing here is I'm getting out. I'm only going to go one square. I think. But get me out of Australia. I'm the last guy in the world that wants to be in Australia. Yeah, I could have fortified back to get out of Greensway, but I don't know. He's doing something. Now, so you get carts. Oh, we got a perfect turn in. So if you get one of all three, infantry, cavalry, and artillery, you get the 10 trade. Let's go. Do you always have to leave one troop? Yeah, you need at least one troop in every territory. You can't leave your territory undefended. So, like, rolling a three-on-one is risky because the way it works is uh, green can only roll two dice, whereas if you have more than, more than that, you can roll up to three dice with the attacking pieces. I guess you see the, the dice when I'm rolling. But you attack, you can roll up to three if you have three troops that can move in, and then when you're defending, you can roll up to two, but the defender wins in the case of a draw. So if you roll all sixes and the defender rolls all sixes... The attacker loses two troops. All right. Red adds over here. Okay, red, I think, is actually decent. They're trying to get South America, but when you have South America, you need to have some position somewhere else, usually in Asia. The reason for it is if you get trapped in here and I end up taking all of this continent and purple ends up taking this, you can get trapped in South America. So I think that explains why red did this. That being said, watch them go crazy and put the six on the two or something ridiculous. I'm still in the chess category. No. Apologies to the, the game of the world of chess. Thank you very much. I tried to change it, but I failed. Thank you very much. All right. Let's see what red does. Red's at, wait, red is still, what's wrong, red? I hope red is not botting out. Harv Gibson. All right. He's still with us. He's still a human player. Perfect. So pink is getting out of my way. Now, orange is bugging me. But orange is just kind of a, a guy that wants to bug people. He's leaving this eight here, which... It doesn't make a lot of sense. It's not like the winning plan for him. This isn't chess. It does look a lot this alike, but it's actually, it's actually risk. It's a lot like chess. If you're good at chess, you'll probably be good at risk. I don't know if the vice versa is true. If you're good at risk, I guess you're not necessarily good at chess. But if you're good at chess, you probably will have an easier time understanding the strategic undertones of risk. So now we turn in. Hooray! Ten troops. So now we're super strong. There's nobody... Like, everybody is doing well. There's nobody that is dying. Nobody has played so horribly that they should just die on this turn. But with this eight here, I'm not really going to be able to go for North America so easily. 
So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to just going to move. I'm just going to get out of here. And I think green might, there's a small chance that they might try to go for Australia. So I'm going to get out this way. I don't feel like I'm card blocking anybody. There we go. I would love to see six super GMs play Risk. It has been done. You could probably find that on YouTube. But it's there's a lot of tournaments, too, where you can... There's even a world championship. I think that's one of the things that's most surprising. And I think next year I'll play in it. I didn't play in the world championship this year. But I think it's it's worth considering. Usually, when you play in the championships, though, they play, like, weird, wacky maps. They play with all sorts of weird stuff. There'll be blizzards and fog and... Sometimes they, they play weird settings, like you just try to take 70% of the world. There's all sorts of like wacky stuff <laughs> that, uh, that goes on at the highest level. But this is just kind of like the basic, if you played the board game at home at Thanksgiving while you were busy ruining your family relationships, this is the, probably the board that you played. It's not an over-the-board championship. It's online, and it's this. It's on Steam. It's Risk Global Domination. Green seems like a weak player. I kind of agree, but he also didn't play like so horrible. All this splitting nonsense is like weird. <laughs> if he is a good player, he's hiding it well. But he, I knew Green would, would seek this opportunity at some point to come down and go into Australia. This was interesting by Red to hit in Africa. A nicer move, especially because purple might be your neighbor, a nicer move would have been to hit in the Middle East, not bugging. What is you doing? You can't kill him. You can't kill Orange. Why are you doing this? Wait, you just had like, you had Europe. Everything was fine. Orange got out of line. Orange got out of line with pink. <gasps> wow. Orange, I guess, was just, he's doing this nonsense. So I didn't hit Orange. Like, you put eight in here, I'm just going to not take my continent and chill. I'm sorry, but I need to attack your territory. Exactly where? I, I don't know where, but uh, you go for it, man. Go ahead, attack my territory. What do I... What are you going to attack? Cool. Yeah, I don't know. What is... What does purple even want to... Ah! Okay, okay, okay. I, under, I understand. That's fine. That's fine. I didn't know what purple meant. They want to hit this three. Okay, whatever. I had no idea what they meant. <laughs> but that's fine. So orange is the first to get a continent. So this will be interesting. Now we have some weak players. Pink is on 16, and if I kill them, I get four cards. Orange is on 19, and if I can kill them, I get three. I don't have a very direct shot on pink, but I could hit the two, the one. I would have to hit four more at least, and then I could hit all of the rest of pink. I'd still need to split a little bit. Oh, maybe not, because I got this three. Okay. So purple looks strong, and it's very true. So if, if purple gets left alone for several turns, they're going to get the extra three troops from Africa, and then they might be doing very well. I suspect that there's at least a couple noobs in this lobby that might attack purple. But we will see. I'm going to leave purple alone. I'm not too bothered by them, and they're friendly with me. And there's somebody I can communicate with, which is going to be huge. Because Purple said, like, hey, is it cool that I smash your three? Because if you don't, that's kind of rude to hit such a big number. So Purple is clearly very good. And I think I can work with them in the future. Okay, so Orange is being obnoxious. He's added... He's just... He's messing with Green down here. No, he's a bot. He's a bot! Okay. So now the dynamic changes. Orange is a bot. Orange has just turned in, which is terrifying. <laughs> I'm even going to roll these threes, because what do I care? Uh, roll this three. Attack. I don't know. Pink, red. Could I kill pink? Four cards. Hmm. Kill pink for four cards. Ugh, I, I, I didn't think about it fast enough. Ah, okay. All right. If pink gets five cards, we'll, we'll kill pink for sure. I didn't quite, I didn't quite make the calculation in time, but I could have killed pink for four, gotten a turn in. That's probably actually a very reasonable play, but we'll leave pink alone. 
How do you do that fast attack thing? So it's very important, first of all, that you go in your settings. This is like absolutely, uh, sorry, your settings. The first most important thing is you turn your camera animation off. Otherwise, you're going to move super slow. You can mess with other settings if you want. Green is about the smash orange, but not make the kill. Uh, the other thing is you click on the place. You click where you want to go and you hit enter. <laughs> click, enter, enter, click. And with a little practice, you could do it pretty quickly. Why do I have him here? So I'm trying to get ready to make a kill. I'm scouring the board because there's a couple weak players. There's the bot with one card and pink with four. So I might want to kill pink on the next move. It's very likely, especially if they end up with five cards, I'll for sure kill them. So having everybody in one place instead of being like scattered around in a bunch of different places gives me the opportunity to use my entire stack to make a kill. So like if green had the opportunity to make a kill on like pink, they wouldn't be able to do it if they have a six here and a three here. All of this should be up in Siam so that if there's an opportunity to kill pink for five cards, green can do it. So green is making a kind of a novice mistake there. Red also feels weak, but maybe they're, if they're turning in and they're taking South America, they could be good. And I'm, if this is a bot, orange is a bot, I'm never taking North America. You're very welcome. I'm never getting North America with the bot here. The bot is going to probably come all into here. It's possible that this 10 will go out, but usually the bots stay within the continent. Now I'm getting worried that red is botting out. Red had some issues earlier. Red has been taking a couple very long thinks. Are you a human being? No, what is going on? Everybody is a bot. This is not going to work. Okay. So purple is a strong player and a human that is able to take a continent. But there's this 13 here. Oh, this is actually great. Okay. So we let this bot get really strong if we're allowed. How fast can you win if you play great and everyone else is bad? You can have games that are sub 30 minutes on a... It's not like a regular... If everyone's really bad, you win in less than 30 minutes, usually. I mean, obviously, the everybody could theoretically bot out, and the answer is like a fraction of a second. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't know. Usually, like, if you win in less than 30 minutes, it's pretty fast. I'm assuming, I think we won once in less than, like, 20 minutes, which is quite rare. Pink turns in, so I will not be killing pink. My goal is to let the red bot take care of purple. I want them to get in a fight. That being said, red has five cards. But I can't really kill red. I don't know how to get this six. It's not easy. I can't easily kill red. Pink is probably killing, or purple, sorry. Is, are you killing pink? Okay, so purple is going to defend against this bot, it looks like. Okay. Pink is, I want to get out, I think. I want to get closer to Asia so that I can be a little bit more flexible with where my next kill is going to be. But red is going to turn in. So theoretically, red could put like 10 troops here and smash the 16 and purple could just get destroyed. Red is a bot, so I'm not... Oh no, red is back! Oh, red is back. Oh, good to know, good to know. So if we, if we started wailing on black, they would be back and they'd be like, uh, excuse me? That was uncalled for. All right, but I'm kind of slowly stalking pink. Uh, we're not going to be able to get really a continent here ever. So that's my turn. I would like pink to get out of my way. I, I want to head into Asia if possible. They can unleave the game. So they might actually be having Wi-Fi. They had another long term where like, I mean, you would not bot out here with red. Sometimes you bot out, you leave because like your game's over. I think he just has some terrible, he's got the Wi-Fi gambit going on. So manipulating the bots is a huge part of the game, which is kind of sad because it's the game changes substantially with uh, stop it, stop it, stop it with the game when everybody's a bot. Because you're you're just trying to manipulate like an AI now, and there are settings like you can make bots neutral so that they don't like attack or anything. But I like the I like the chaos. I like the automated bots. 
And there are bought out strategies, which are not like illegal, but kind of, they're kind of scummy. <laughs> you can like intentionally bot out because you think you're going to die next. But maybe if you bot out, nobody will kill the bots because the humans will probably fight each other. There's a, there's a little bit of that going on. I've never done it, but it's, it's something you will see. So, yeah, if it gets to me versus all the bots, the game won't end immediately. I'll have to kill all the bots, but it'll be it'll be an easy task. Bots always overattack. They're very aggressive. They make a lot of mistakes. Like, if this were a bot, Red is now a human, unless he's botting out again. He's offline again! Put them all here! So, yeah, yeah, uh, it's not enough. An 11 is not going to hit a 16. But since it's a bot, they don't care about anything. There's no diplomacy with a bot. You could, the bot might add here, smash this 16, smashes this eight. What is orange at? Six cards? Oof, I don't have a straight line on orange. Two cards? It's not, it's not really worth blasting a four and something else to get it. Maybe, hmm. Okay, pink kind of gets out my way. That's, that's cool. That's cool. I'm going to get myself in position to kill Orange. I don't think I'm doing it yet. Red is probably a bot for most of the game, but we're going to have to keep checking. I'm definitely, yeah, I'm doing the stockpile and pounce. <laughs> this is the, uh, I'm just, yeah. I'm keeping one huge stack and I'm trying to kill. Like, so Orange, I can kill now. Uh, and I can turn that into a kill on pink as well. So... Wait, pink and yellow are both going to have cards. Ooh. Okay. Okay. So I can kill orange. I'll get two cards. I'll be forced to turn in. I could then kill pink. All right. So we're going to kill orange. Uh, we lose only two. Okay. Now we kill orange. Beautiful. Oh, sorry. They got one more territory. Excuse me. Now, do we kill pink for three more? Probably. I'm a, I'm a psycho killer. All right. Give me Greenland, Camp Jaka, whatever. All right. Now we can just kill pink. We will get three. This will force me to turn in again. I'm going for it. All right, get wrecked, Pink. You never had a chance. We lose a lot of troops, though. All right, we should be good, though. We should be good. Uh, hopefully. We turn in Japan, Greenland. I'll take some Greenland action. Uh, uh, no, whatever. Okay, that's fine. All right, so we've made the kill. I don't think Purple will be able to kill me. They'd be the one that maybe I'm worried about. So that gets rid of the bot problem. Green is cool. Purple's cool. Red is sometimes a bot and sometimes not. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go to a non-threatening location. I'm going to Greenland. And I might be able to go into Europe. But nobody should be able to kill me. I do not have a trade-in on four. So I won't be able to trade in. So this is going to be interesting. There's three human players. And purple has a continent. Green is kind of weak and passive. So now we need to do a balance. We need to balance our relationship with the bot. With the good player who has a continent. And maybe green is okay. Okay, green played like kind of newbie at first. But maybe green is like okay. They're starting to get stuff out. But green is still a bit of a wild card in my mind. If red were a human, I would be very happy because they'd be chilling here. Oh, come on. Come on. <laughs> but it's also possible, depending on what they do, I could smash everything and end up with North America. It is quite possible. Yeah, if it was progressive, I would have strung a bunch of kills together, but we are playing fixed. I'm interested in this relationship between green and purple. They seem to be friendly with each other. I, I, think I, I think I'm gonna be safer in Europe. And I want Redbot to get strong because I don't have a continent. 
So I'm gonna leave everybody here, and now my secret plan is to let the red bot take North America. And because I have a huge stack here, the 28, what will happen is the bots kind of magnetically get attracted to huge stacks. So I'm thinking red is gonna take here and end up putting a bunch of stuff. Then at some moment, if I move my stack away, the bot will come into Europe. But I would like to see red take this because the potential for red smashing purple is so high. Yeah, we're definitely waiting for the red bot. Like, I want, if you take North America, you get an extra five. Toss that on here on any turn. You're always like a turn away from getting smacked by the bot. We'll see if purple is able to keep defending. And red has four cards. So like, it's always possible a 10 could go here. Also, I'm out of North America, so it might not add as much to North America. And if you've played, maybe you've got a sneaky feeling that the Australia player might hit. <laughs> okay. So wait, red didn't turn in. I don't think we can even theoretically kill it. Well, I'm turning in too. And purple, I mean, I thought purple was a good player, but look at this. The stacks are completely locked out. So we're not breaking the bot. But these, these big numbers, they're not able to actually kill anybody. So orange is not, orange is going for it. Are you gonna make it? You are, five cards. Oh no. Oh, everybody else has five cards too. He's gonna make it and turn it. No, he's aiming at me. Don't aim at me, don't aim at me. Which way is he gonna go? Oh, good. So now he's gonna finish the kill not pointed at me. Good, good, good. So that's a good sign. But then green and I, we both have five cards and 35 troops. So purple is definitely way too strong. But I think they're done. So I actually, I could work with purple to kill green, I think. But we gotta be, this is where, this is where the strategic master minery comes into play. Hits green. Why? Why exactly? This is forced. I asked green, should we attack purple? Then I asked green, uh, I say to purple, I'm sorry, but I need to attack your territory. They both say cool. So now it looks like I'm working with, it looks like I'm working with green. Now I'm gonna try to convince green I'm just gonna get this out of green's way just in case they wanna come through. I just wanna be out of this 16's way in case the 16 comes piling through. Now, here's where the manipulation begins. Now I tell green, attack purple. And so purple's actually cool with me doing it, but green doesn't know that. But to, so to green, I'm saying we gotta attack purple. By which I mean you got to break at least one of these continents. You're hitting the wrong guy. Yeah, hit that guy. And this way we get green to hit a little bit too much of purple. Perfect. So this is exactly what we wanted. So purple ends with none, and green is obnoxious. Yeah, 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 he leaves a five. So really, purple is gonna get more mad at green. Uh, you leave two fives, you're incredible. What it means is, is that purple is gonna be mad at green, not at me, I asked. I was very polite, and at the time, it looks like I was just trying to, I'm gonna take five, you're gonna take five. The strategy for leaving five is to make sure Purple has to waste more to kill you, but it's risky because it's very aggressive. I didn't really aggress, and I don't really plan on it. So here's how I play it. I take North America. No. Do I take North America? Okay, wait, we got to be sneaky here. Okay, 
Now we, we test green. We test green. Let's see how good green is. I think green is going to hit me, but I think I'm fine with it. I'm going to take North America. And I'm not really going to defend. If green wants to hit me, green's going to hit me. That's It's just going to happen. So now I'm working with purple, and green will not like me for this. However, I will then 100% without a doubt show purple absolute mega trust. Green will most likely hit me. But you can only hit me or purple. And you've already started a war with purple. And you've already worked with me in the past. So is green willing to throw that away? It looks like he's going to keep fighting purple. Let's go. He's going to break purple again. Oh, he might break both of us, which is maybe an okay play. But if you break purple, you open the 34. Hi, Mallory. Mallory. How's it going? All right. So green actually chills. So I 100% trust purple. And their stack is blocked. Green doesn't want to open up the 34. Mallory is secretly, we know Mallory is, we know Mallory runs the show in this, this risk category. We are merely but a guest here. Mallory is the one running it all. <laughs> is purple going to hit me? I would actually be surprised. We are neighbors, you know. No, you're not. I get South America. Okay, we're doing it. We're going to do the deadliest trap. No, we're not. We're just joking. Just joking. What? Excuse me? That's not how you deadly is trap. I wanted to have an instructional. Well, I didn't like that very much. All right, I'm kind of a like chicken. I don't know if you've seen my username. Attack my territory if you need to. Cool. Uh, you, I think you mean this one. You mean this one? I'm sorry, but I need to attack your territory. Why did you put nine here? Okay, he says cool. I don't understand why you did that, though. Why did you do that? Give me South America. We can do the deadliest trap. We're of equal strength. All right, he's got like a million times more <laughs> troops than me. Green probably doesn't waste a bunch of energy running and killing me. Green has already hit purple before, so I suspect green will hit purple now a lot. They might want to hit both of us. Maybe they will hit me. Okay. I am aimed at green, so maybe my 41. Does my 41 scare you? That's all right. No, you're just, you're kind of, you're kind of wimpy. <laughs> okay. So I'm equal with purple. So the 10 stack here could hit either one of us. Green is establishing a counter defense, but also saying, hey, nobody gets Europe. Look, you guys can all have, you guys can have your five point continents. You cannot take Europe. All right, so that's fine. 17, I don't have as many territories. All right, let's just get a nice big force here going. This will hopefully appear like my stack is now not as menacing to green, even though obviously I'm very close to being able to kill green. Not that I, I would unless I can beat purple right after. This is going to be a very tough end game. Green is kind of the like deciding factor. <laughs> But also, in some endgame where we kill green, I mean, purple is not going to be ready to strike us. Not so immediately, probably. They're not keeping the stack aggressively placed. Green is card blocking purple. This is incredible. Get them. Thank you, McNubbins. Okay. I'm not even going to ask. <laughs> Look, you know what the deal is, okay, purple? I don't need to ask, all right? I'm not asking, I'm, I'm demonstrating. If purple actually really ever goes just hog wild and takes me, I can run all the way through Asia here and counter strike them. So I'm not terribly worried about my borders. I think, so green, I think wants to set up a position in which we're card blocking purple. But if purple keeps taking in Iceland, I'm gonna keep giving purple a card because I'm gonna keep breaking, or maybe I don't. 
Okay, I, I see the plan here by green. No, 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 keep like five there at least. Don't bury your stack, that's kind of amateurish. So purple takes here. I take one with green and green and I are just trading back here. I'm not gonna block my stack though. If my stack needs to come out to take a card, I'll do it. So purple, or right, here, strength check. Uh-oh, oh no. Where are those guys going? Into green? Okay, you, you want Europe a lot. Okay, so there goes a lot of troops. Do the trap. Come on, put these, just put these like nine up here. What the heck? So I think I under, I think green. <sighs> okay, let's take the risk. You said, are there risks in, in, in the game of risk? Okay, here's a risk. I'm kind of banking on green hitting purple, but card blocking purple. I'm also, I have five cards, so I don't want to be too crazy on this turn. I'm thinking what green wants is to hit here and leave like five troops. That seems to be the green's plan. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought, I thought this is how you wanted to do it. I thought this is how you wanted to do it. Why don't you be the bad guy that takes here and leaves five? Oh, I'm all for it, my man green. I'm all for it. Because now we card block, and then we can t keep taking cards. Although if purple now, if you actually card block here, I'm also semi-card blocked, so if purple strikes me and I need to get out, I guess I'm running through you, green. Sorry, I might have to run you over first. Okay, purple not card blocked. Green is, you know, notably scared of this roaming 67. <laughs> Purple is going to always bury the stack. So there's going to come a time where I can kill green and then purple's going to be in a lot of trouble. It's not today, though. It's not today. <laughs> it's just simply not today. So green, I think, maybe, does he notice that he doesn't want to card block me behind purple? Because purple would strike me first. How's this for holding North America? This is something I never see anybody else doing. Why is this not like the strat? Our alliance is over? Okay, you, I'll kill you first and then go up against purple. That's fine. How about, like, how come everybody... Oh, I see. He wanted me to hit purple. I wasn't really paying attention. Everybody, like, actually defends when you're at this stage of the game and you have such, so many troops that I can now easily counterattack green. I can even kill green if I want to. But you'll see everybody still defending all their borders. Hit us both. Uh, that's perfect. That's A-OK -okay with me. Opens the 71. This is, I love this play. I love this play. This helps me the most. And you're not done hitting purple. You broke the alliance with me, but I think your real beef is with another player. I can card block. I can kill block. So if purple wants to make a kill on green... Green says you don't get North America. That's kind of funny. It's the Australia Gambit. The Australia Gambit. He's giving away Australia to do other, to, for North America. It's today's YouTube video. <laughs> Ally with green again. You, what? You, you're 71. Why not the 71? Okay, time to do math. This is the hard part of the game where math is required. I think we kill green and go against purple. I think we kill green and then like, he's blocked. We can just kill green. Everybody is. How dumb am I? It's only three cards though. It's only three cards. This is kind of kill guarding green against purple. I don't do it yet. I don't do it yet. All right, I'm right in the middle. So I'm, if this 71 somehow got opened up, I'd be kill guarding green. I wait another turn. I'm going to wait one more turn. Let's see if they get four cards. I also think green is going to hit purple again. I'm counting on green hitting purple. They even get a trade in. Okay, so we're not, I mean, we could have killed green and we could have got those sweet 10 extra troopers, okay? That would have been actually delicious. <laughs> that would have been, why would you open the 71? Oh, it's amazing. You're not, you, you can do it. You can do it. Let's go. He did it. How do you get cards? Every time you take 
a territory on your turn, you get one card. Then when you get five, you're forced to turn in, but you can turn in earlier. You need at least three. Three of infantry, three cavalry, three artillery, or three of both. Three of both being the best case scenario. Okay, so now killing green is not as appealing. But if green keeps hitting purple every turn? I mean, what's the rush? <laughs> I will turn in just to... What is purple at? I mean, we're just... I mean, green's gonna hit purple again. It is un undoubted. <laughs> it is without doubt. I could take Australia. That would be like a start of doing something. We could take Australia, but... Imagine. Imagine ever holding Australia. Maybe I'll run the Australia gambit. Take Australia and then just run away from it. Just to, just to say that, you know what, that's how I really feel about the continent. But I also don't, I don't want to make green mad at me. This is working out great. This is working out amazingly great. This couldn't really be working out much better than this. We, so when green has too many cards, we attack green. But purple is going to trade in, and at some point they might be able to defend their borders against green. When this occurs, if they defend their borders very well against green, is green crazy enough to throw their game away and attack? Okay, so purple is going to do just this. Is green... Well, green's... Okay, so they gave up Africa... Hmm. I do nothing. It might be more accurate to keep my giant stack here, but I don't really care that much. Like a patient chess player, I do nothing. You might, you could call me the Antoli Karpov of Risk. And green does nothing. Okay. Interesting. Or, oh no, he's, he's gonna take North America. Okay. No, he's, he's chilling out. But look at this defense on Australia. There's no way I break through now. Dude, you gonna take Europe? Ah, all right, let's get spicy. You want spice? I'll show you spice. Nah, I don't wanna get too spicy. What do I do, actually? Ah, uh, hmm. All right, I'm going to show green some support. Green just needs me to hit purple a little bit more. Our alliance is over. Well, in that case. I guess I'll be working with green to try to destroy you. <laughs> okay, our alliance is over. All right, well. Let's see how, how people feel about that. I don't want to open this 89 for sure, for sure. Purple's probably not daring enough to put the 89 out at some point. If green was insane, he could go here and here and open the 89. But I think green is going to take like North America and have Australia. I want to pin purple against green. Working with green, I mean, I guess usually you would attack the weakest player and you'd both team up. But I feel like purple had like a chance to kind of team up with me on green. And they weren't like that interested in doing it. So I don't really think I can work with purple to take out the weakest player slowly. All right. I didn't want to have to do it, but I'm going to take a continent. If I take Europe, though, it's hard to, like, make a kill later. 
But there, I don't know, maybe there's, there's no killing going on. Let's just take Europe, see? Just, I, are we, who's cool with who? Let's find out who's cool with who. <laughs> this is a fun little game called Who Is My Friend? But now I'm going to be like trapped. Where do I actually want my stack? I don't want to be trapped. Who do I want to aim at? All right. Let's see if green's really cool. They broke their alliance with me earlier, but now we are friends again, theoretically. I don't really know where Purple's heart is in this matter. I showed Green that I'm willing to hit Purple. Are you gonna open the 104? Okay, we're trying to card block Purple, are we? Okay. It's not, it's not gonna happen. I'm not putting this giant stack here. I'm just letting you know this stack is not going in front of the 104. Hmm. So green doesn't hit me. Purple just broke the alliance. I'm not going to send him another alliance request just yet. I could if I wanted to say like, hey, why don't you take Africa? But I think I can pin purple as the... I'd, I'm not looking for beef. Oh, no, you are looking for beef. Okay. You're looking for beef, huh? Interesting. I'm sorry you feel that way. All right, well, I guess this is how it goes. All right, you hit me, I hit you. I'm not the guy you want to mess with. I can't have Europe, you can't have Africa. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I cannot, I'm not set up to kill green ever. So I guess I better work really hard with green. Green is not taking North America, which is maybe correct. Purple is the only, no, green and purple both have the same continent. So they're both like happy. I'm the odd one out. Okay. I guess I'll break you then. <laughs> okay. I guess this is how we're doing it. Okay. Let's see what green comes up with. Green. I'm hoping they get, they take North America or they do something kind of wild. The game has reached a point of a little bit too much balance for my liking. I'm still the strongest though, but I need to be able to hold a continent in order to do anything. Purple still, the 109 is, I don't know why the 109 is where it is. Purple's just trying to like, I'm just minding my own business. <laughs> I'm just trying to, trying to chill out. All right, let's see if we're cool. Time has passed. Time heals all wounds, but can it heal the friendship between me and purple? Here you go, buddy. You get to hold a continent. I don't think green will hit me. I think green is waiting for us to both be able to have five so that green can kind of overtake North America. Also green might hit purple, in which case I did not. Okay, so if I don't, Purple hits green. Or green hits purple, sorry. So does purple just take the continent back? Does green keep going wild? This is perfect. I need green and purple to fight, so this is perfect. My last turn was very peaceful. I hit, I hit purple one time out of the blue. You think purple will hit me for this, as if I orchestrated green's actions? I'm my own individual person. I had nothing to do with the attacks. 
No, he's not hitting me. I think purple, I mean, he's, he's the passive guy that doesn't want to stir up any trouble. He's the, I'm not here to cause any, any problems kind of guy. Imagine being able to kill green here. Just imagine. But alas. All right. I guess I'm stuck doing this for a little bit. I feel like my stack is where it needs to be. We'll see if green overpresses. So far, green hasn't really overpressed. They have five cards. Are they feeling... Are they feeling like it's North America time? Okay, I think th they leave in 71 here. They're going to take North America. And then it would be, it would be, we're, we're trapping purple in. So maybe I could shield here against purple, but I don't want to make purple mad. I'll let, I'll let purple hit me and take cards and start a war with me. I'm always going to show trust. It'd be funny if this 10 goes on the 7. Oh, okay, the 3 goes on the 7. Okay, fair enough. Okay. I'm not your enemy. I'm not your enemy. I'll let green get stronger than me. I don't really care. I'll let green get stronger than me. I don't care. This is how I might win this game. I let we just keep waiting until green gets stronger than me, and then green will hit purple and mess up the some end game. Taking green out of here and taking Australia also gets me Asia, just for the funny record. Just for the funny record. What if? What if? Is there any chance? Is there any chance? I can get out of Europe. I can take Asia. If I have Asia and green has North America and Australia, that's balanced. That is, that's balanced. I let you keep Australia. There's no way I can pull it off though. How would I pull that off? How would I pull it off? Do I go for Asia? I can't hold Europe. I give green plenty of time to get out, but how do I convince green that I'm not going to take Australia? Also, this changes the nature of the game. I, I, I want it though. I want it. 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 It's so fair. You get North America and Australia. I get Asia. Whatever. We'll say attack my territory if I need to. I don't. That doesn't really mean anything. I'm not taking Australia, I swear, bro. I swear I'm not taking Australia. I'm taking Asia. Can I convince him? So take North America. And then you have five plus two. So I need seven in order for this to be fair. Can I somehow communicate that? I don't know how. How do I communicate that I'm going for Asia? <laughs> and then we keep team up on purple. Okay. I have to, all right, we turned in a wild card. Watch this. Watch this. Here we go. Here's my attempt. I'm sorry. No, no, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I need to attack your territory. I, okay. Oh, wait. I only put three here. Does he understand? I'm sorry, but I need to attack your territory. I'm going for Asia. Do you understand? I don't know. I don't know if I communicated that very well. I don't, no, I'm not taking Australia. I'm not taking Australia. I'm not taking Australia. I'm taking Asia. I want Asia. You get North America and Australia. 100% war is coming. Maybe, but how else are you going to take Asia? 
Why would you fight me? I did accidentally roll the two. That was kind of, that was a bit aggressive. That was a bit more aggressive than I had fully intended. Let me blast two into your stack. I didn't mean to blast two. I swear, I swear that was an accident. That was an accident. Communicate to them that you're not going to take Australia. He gets that one out. Your 10, I got to get your 10 out. And don't take Europe. Or do whatever. Just do whatever you want. Don't take Europe. Why would you take... Okay, stop there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Block them, block them, block them. And then put this 10 here. Oh my god. Oh my god. You put the 10 here. Purple is blocked. I take Asia. No, that's not happening. Okay, well. Well. <laughs> I'm suicide taking it. Why? It's fair. You're getting seven from continents. I get seven from continents. Do the math. I'm not taking Australia. I'm not taking Australia. I'm going to give him one more chance. I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it obvious. Look, look, look. I'm not going to hit your 10 though. Cool. We're cool. We're cool. We're very cool. Look, I'm sorry, but I need to attack your territory. Okay. But we're really cool. I'm going this way, okay? I'm going this way. I'm going this way. Let me move your 10 back. Pop them back. I'm not going to let my dreams become dreams here. I, I want to take Austra uh, Asia. I'm going to take Asia. I'm still the strongest. And then we can do this nonsense card blocking purple stuff. And then we keep taking cards in Europe. It's brilliant. And then you're on the front line, so when Purple gets mad, he kills you. It's a perfect plan. <laughs> okay, run run out. Sure, sure, whatever. Yeah, or run them all out. You defend. He defends. He's not going to let me take it. <laughs> I'm a traitor? Oh, what? It's fair. I, don't, I haven't had a continent this whole time. Come on, it's fair. It's totally fair. There's no chance for him to understand. Well, I have to go slow. It's it's not going to happen all at once. I don't know if I can actually communicate what I'm saying. He's also going to maybe card block me at some point. I'm not, I'm not going to stop. I'm going to go for Asia. In the meantime, you just opened the 159. I guess you were a bit scared. Go ahead, kill green and get those four sweet cards. Go ahead. Ha. Huh. Green is a splitting Sammy. Push him out of Australia too. I'm not he pushing him out of Australia, but thank you, McNubbins. Oh, I don't have enough to do my silly, my silly thing. Oh no, I did have enough. I could have left one there just to indicate. Okay. All right. All right. I don't really have a good way to indicate it to you, but I'm just warning you that I'm at, maybe I could have gone here. Maybe it was a little more accurate just in case you wanted to come this way and hit purple. I don't know. Purple's boring. Purple's passive, but purple is hitting people like purple did just hit green here. Look where the stack is now. Green take back. What is truly yours? Get out of my way. What is this 59 up to? <laughs> if you want to protect Australia from me when I take Asia, you know, pop these guys back. If you don't, if you trust me, and why would you not? I'm such a trustworthy guy. Is purple card block? Oh, amazing. Absolutely amazing. You trust me a little bit or something. You trust me a little bit or something? So I'm going to put just enough to beat a 17 and then threaten, but then I'm going to move a, an amount away to not scare him. I'm not taking Australia. Stop. I'm not taking Australia. Not yet. <laughs> All right. So purple is willing to hit big stuff. Now it's quite... I actually don't have a card. I have been card blocked. I have been card blocked. Boop. 
I'm sorry, but I need to attack your territory. Yes or no? <laughs> I think you, the answer is no. You should probably say no. You should probably say no. I guess I will be not taking a card. I'm just letting you know that's my intention, okay? That's my intention. I will leave 17 there. I don't mean to threaten you severely. I just think that it is fair for me to take Asia. All right. Okay, we can do it like that. <laughs> I'm just trying to take a continent out here. Take North America. All right, or do this, whatever. I'm not taking Australia. I would, I would never. What's gonna happen is like, I mean, these guys are gonna fight. It's, it doesn't matter. These guys are, these guys are fighting. I'm trapping purple within green. Like that's gonna result in a win for me. Purple being stuck behind a wall of green means I win. For sure. Beginners say Australia is the best continent. Yeah, but beginners think the Karl Khan is a good opening. Uh, all right, we're going to do a classic move here. We're going to do a classic move here. D Please. D Thanks. <laughs> then we'll hit it with one of these. Wait, it, my, my emote, it, did it work? All right, there we go. Let me put a non-threatening amount here. I mean to take it with a four. I would like a four to take that on the next move, please. There is stalemate in risk. It can definitely happen. Imagine a situation where one player has like this part, this part, and then one player has like all of this part. It, it can happen. You can stalemate. So Eric Rosen might want to consider this. He does hit my four, which is a bit rude. I, for some reason, think that green does not want to give me Asia. This is on Steam. This is Risk Global Domination. If you want to play it for yourself, it's a very fun game. Purple has to break through green. I don't have a continent, so there's no real reason to hit me. It is free. Look, so this was inevitable. It was inevitable. But purple should realize that I can't kill green so if i need to make a kill it's gonna be on purple but they also have one card so i'm probably not killing them anyways i'll be could i just can i have uh, asia now i could hit purple do i no it's the perfect chance for for love it's the perfect chance for true love it's the perfect chance Said the heart emoji. Oh, I don't want green to see it. I leave, I get out of the way of the 24 because I think green, you're the one that's now committed to killing purple. But I guess you also have another path this way. How am I still alive? I'm not fighting. I'm getting more troops because they get a bunch of more troops a bunch of turns in a row and then they use them to hit each other. All right, here's the deal. I get Asia. <laughs> okay, well. Huh. I feel like you're not letting me have Asia. I just don't, I don't understand. It's not obvious to me why I haven't gotten Asia yet. You two wouldn't team up on me, would you? Hmm. So the Asia plan didn't work or hasn't worked yet. <laughs> All right. Oops. Will these two be able to put aside their differences, work together and kill me? Even if that is true, like, so as soon as I notice they're, like, going to team on me, which is apparently not going to happen, then at, at that point, I'll, I'll change the dynamic of the game by hitting somebody or both of them kind of hard. All 
All right, green is trying to guard me from hitting purple. Strange. A bit strange. Purple keeps hitting me. So it looks like maybe they are working against me. Hmm. Yeah, it's a bit frustrating. <laughs> Who can I hit that... But... Why did I put 14 there? I don't know. I don't know why I put 14 there. He probably hits my 14. It seems he seems to be the type. But then I'll be closer to getting Asia. Why not take Asia and Australia? I don't want to be that strong. I want it to be fair. I don't want Australia. I want you to have it so that you can have two plus some other amount. Go ahead, take Europe and Australia. You get seven, I get seven. It's That's fair from where I come from. I What I might do next, I'm going to have to hit this 24. I, I'm going to take it. Then maybe I stack against purple? Or maybe I just don't. Maybe I don't. I don't know. We'll come up with something. <laughs> I'm boring purple. Purple likes it boring. Purple's boring you, so I should kill him for your personal enjoyment. <laughs> if I take Asia, and I it's not like I didn't warn you, Green. If I take Asia, whoever hits me is my enemy. How could you? You took my continent? Let me in. <laughs> I want in. Then to, here's how you throw him off. Hit green. What? And then he stacked against purple. Wait a minute. It doesn't make sense. Why would he hit one guy and then stack against the other? What is the message he's trying to send? Don't let purple have two bonuses. Well, how is he going to kill green for me unless he's strong enough? <laughs> Just start attacking attack at purple right away? Maybe. Nah, all I had to do was give green a little love tap. Green doubles down on the super quadruples down on the you're never getting Asia. Which is not going to stop me from pescally slow rolling him one time at the risk that he might get mad at me and decide to barrel into me. But because he's all stacked up everywhere, he probably can't like barrel against me. So where does purple get a card? They hit green. And how do they do it? Oh, they take their cotton and Oh, this is beautiful. I mean, this is just beautiful. A truly lovely game. Now, this is what I do every turn. Every turn so nobody's surprised. I would like this territory, okay? Then, I stack against that guy. I stack against the other guy. Green's growing fast. That's okay. <laughs> Once I get Asia, my production levels will be through the roof. He's adding everybody in. Look at him wasting all of his troops defending Australia, and then he still keeps hitting purple. So I'll let green get bigger than purple. What do I care? Green can be bigger than me. As long as the balance isn't, like, fully ruined, that somebody will be able to kill me and then kill the other person, it doesn't really matter. Let's make these guys mad at each other. I don't see any reason to card skip. I'm not worried about these guys killing me yet. What? For three? But this is a throw. Now green just wins so easy. What are you doing? Why? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I don't have a turn in. Can I be less desirable to kill? I don't, I cannot. I cannot be less desirable to kill. Shoot. All right, well, this game's over. 
He's mad, but why did he slam it to me? I don't understand. I don't understand the thinking process there by Purple. Unless he's like, he just, he didn't like the way I was playing. Yeah, and it's now Green easily wins. The problem is I'm in the way. I can't get out of the way. <gasps> but maybe Green likes me. Oh, well, maybe not. Ah, oh, shoot. Ah, oh, shoot. Wait, why did you bury your 69? I don't, I don't understand anything anymore. I don't understand anything anymore. He didn't want to win, but... He just wanted second place? I guess he's gonna get it. I don't understand why Green kept the 69 buried. What? He doesn't kill me! You're crazy! What? This doesn't make any sense! <laughs> but he's gonna let Purple kill me and get three cards? That doesn't make any sense either. This makes the least amount of sense that I've ever... What? Maybe Purple can't kill me. He probably can. All right, so purple easily kills me, and then... What a wacky way to do it. I mean, green's gonna win, because nothing matters. But he lets purple get the kill on me? Because he likes... They're, like, they're super best friends, and... I don't know. His, his sick pleasure is, hey, I'll even let you kill the other guy, knowing that you'll have to split in Japan. That'll slow him down. Oh, I do die. I thought for a second, what a teaser. What a teaser. Okay, so this is like insanely obvious that green is gonna win, but I would like to see it. It should be, okay, all right, all right. It's time for me to put children to bed. I'll, I'll just give a, we got, we got a couple minutes here though. Boom, okay. I got some spaghetti squash coming my way. I just wanna see the technique. Before we see what these guys are rated, I just want to see how green does this. Now, you are insanely winning. You should get one of these humongous stacks out where it can take the rest of purple. You have this giant stack. So I'd advise, you know, using this giant stack. This will probably work. Yeah, you probably should be able to get all the rest of the board on this turn. So this is the last game of the stream. Potentially, we'll put this one on, on YouTube, even though it didn't quite go so well. I was on an incredible streak. I had won like seven or eight games in a row. I got to like 2,700. So a third place at this point is very painful. I probably lose like 1,000 FFA points. We'll see if I'm still a Grandmaster after this. I'm going to guess. I mean, I guess both these guys are probably beginners. But it's just, it could have been amazing. I just, I'm leaving. I've, I come back every day. I'm here every day at like the same time. All right, so green should be able to do this on this turn. Is that what you think? It is? So purple didn't know how to get first. So they're like, whatever, second's fine. I'll hit the guy that is kind of annoyingly trapping me against green. I guess that's what happens. He didn't like that I was patiently waiting for green to do the job. I'm not sure how I could have avoided it, but there's always a way to avoid death. At least I like to believe so. All right, let's see. Show me a lot of beginners. Intermediate, intermediate. Pink was a master and we had a couple of beginners. Let's see what this does to our ranking. So the players were at least reasonably high in rank. We're still a grandmaster. Let's go. And if this is a YouTube video, make sure you subscribe.